Good morning. For today's video lecture, we're going to be talking about general planar kinetics. Uh, so Newton's second law in kinetics. Uh, in kinetics, we build directly on Newton's second law, which states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Uh, and in rigid body kinetics, we add the rotational version, which is m equals i alpha. The moment is equal to the mass moment of inertia times the angular acceleration for a body. Uh, so if we put these forces, moments, masses, and mass moments inertia into these equations, all of our known values, we wind up with what's known as the equations of motion for an object. Uh, so by solving these equations, we can either find the forces and moments given accelerations or the accelerations given the forces and moments. All right, so today we're going to be talking about general planar motion. And general planar motion refers to instances where a body is both translating and rotating at the same time. Uh, so the tire in this picture here uh, is an example of general planar motion. Uh, it is going to be rotating uh, as well as translating uh, all at the same time. So in these instances, uh, all we have are, for at least for a planar equation, for a 2D equation, uh, we're going to have F equals MA in the X direction, F equals MA in the Y direction, uh, and M equals I alpha about the center of mass. So the acceleration specifically refers to the acceleration of the center of mass of the body, and the moments and mass moment of inertia should be about uh, the center of mass of the body as well. So we've got that as one option. Uh, we can alternatively um, work with other coordinate systems. So if I want to use the r and theta directions or the n and t directions, those are options as well. Uh, it would still be m equals i alpha, so that equation remains uh, unchanged. Uh, simply the force equations that change. Um, and we do always want to use perpendicular coordinate systems, so R and theta, N and T, use one of the traditional ones. And we always need to have it about the center of mass. So uh, AR and A theta still refers to the acceleration of the center of the mass of the body. Uh, and the moments still need to be about the uh, center of mass of the body. So moment and mass moment of inertia. All right, so uh, in addition to the equations of motion, we're also uh, frequently going to need to relate the acceleration of the center of the mass to the body uh, to the acceleration of the body itself. Uh, so for that, we would look at the previous chapter, uh, look back to kinematics to figure out there's usually a relationship between the angular accelerations and the linear accelerations in any given body. Um, so. We will need to supplement. We've got three equations for kinetics. Uh, if we need kinetic or kinematics equations, we can up the number of equations. We can solve for more unknowns in that way. All right, so with this, uh, the process that we're going to use for these kinetics problems, um, we are going to first set up a free body diagram. So draw the body separated from surroundings. Draw in all known and unknown forces. Uh, I use red for my forces, as well as key dimensions and angles. Um, so draw in your coordinate system as well if you are using something other than the kind of standard x, y. Uh, and you want to draw in your acceleration vectors. So I use blue dashed lines for this. Uh, you're going to draw in both angular acceleration vectors as well as uh, linear acceleration vectors. All right, so once you have your free body diagram, you're going to write out your equations of motion. Uh, again, we've got uh, f equals ma in the x direction f equals ma in the y direction, and sum of moments about the center of mass. Uh, of course, you can change those uh, x and y components uh, into r and theta, n and t, depending on what you're working with. Uh, once you have your equations, and you have at least as many equations as you have unknowns, you're going to do some algebra, solve the equations for any unknown values that you have. All right, so that's all I've got for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.